This week on Drive Time, Nissan goes for the gold. The all-new Q50 turns heads at the Concours d'Elegance. And current Leaf owners cash in. Nissan's going for the gold at the 2016 Olympic Games in Rio. 4,500 Nissan vehicles will help meet the needs of the Games and Team Brazil, making Nissan the primary automotive sponsor. In addition, 30 Brazilian athletes will participate in the Team Nissan training program, an effort to help the Brazilian hopefuls achieve their Olympic dreams with seminars on career management, sports psychology, and nutrition. Some athletes travel more than four hours a day just to reach a training facility. They have just received Nissan Lavina X gears to support their amazing efforts and keep them on the road to Rio 2016. The Infinity team is revving up for springtime, making a splash last week at the Amelia Island Concours d'Elegance. Infinity sponsored the event's media center at the Ritz-Carlton and hosted an impressive Infinity Pavilion display that featured the all-new 2014 Q50 luxury sports sedan. The first Concours appearance of the Q50 since its world debut at the North American International Auto Show in January. The brand also announced that a new gasoline electric hybrid model will join the 2014 Infiniti QX60 premium crossover lineup in the United States this summer. With the Q70 hybrid currently available as the M hybrid and previously announced Q50 hybrid, Infiniti will have a trio of advanced direct response hybrids for the 2014 model year. And this week, watch for Infiniti to announce the results of its online contest to give one winner a pair of tickets to this year's NCAA Finals in Atlanta. The brand will also name the winner of the Infiniti Coaches Charity Challenge. The online event that pits 48 coaches from the nation's top NCAA men's basketball programs in a fan vote challenge. Now in its third year, Infinity will make a $100,000 donation to the winning coach's designated charity. Log on to Win to see the first video in a series that focuses on plug-in charging infrastructure in the U.S. and the movement towards making EV charging easily accessible. Infrastructure Evolution takes a look at how roads were just a half century ago and how few and far between gas stations were. The perspective provides an interesting picture of how future generations might remember today's development of the EV charging infrastructure. It's really trying to think about the car in society and not just the car and the interior of it. And I think that's the future. Nissan is rewarding current LEAF owners with a new loyalty program. It's $1,000 toward any vehicle in Nissan's lineup, and it's transferable to anyone in the household. The program provides incentive for customers to try another one of Nissan's fuel-efficient vehicles, such as the Altima, with best-in-segment fuel economy of 38 miles per gallon, or to purchase another LEAF. It can be a Nissan LEAF, it can be a Nissan Maxima, it can be a Pathfinder, it can be all of the above. So we want to reward those 83% of customers who decided to adopt a brand new technology and welcome to Nissan, just not as an EV owner, but as part of our brand. Nissan will reach out to customers directly on April 1st to share details of the program, which runs through December 31st, 2014. Dealers have been notified and the program is effective now. This credit can be combined with other offers and incentives, including lease, finance, and cash purchases. Last week, Nissan announced required training for a new 10-minute Hoshin Kanri e-learning course due by the end of the month, as well as mandatory information security awareness training to be completed by March 22nd. Check out more information for both on WIN. That's all for this week. Please join us again next week for all the latest Nissan news. As always, if you'd like to contact us, please drop us a line at nissanamericas.today at nissan-usa.com. Thanks for watching Drive Time.